I'm back on the scene dating in LA with Coffee Meets Bagel. I know, I know, you all are like, wait, didn't you just release a video about how not dating made you more productive? And now you're making a video about dating? But what will it do to your productivity? I guess we'll find out. Welcome back. I'm Amy and I live the spinster life. And I'm joining Hot Girl Summer and diving into the dating pool. Well, waiting and maybe. I'm joining Coffee Meets Bagel. Here's the only flaw in me using that dating app. I can't fucking say bagel because I'm from the Midwest. We don't really have a bagel culture. But there is a reason that I chose this particular app, even if I can't fucking say it. And you'll probably understand why once I tell you how it works. And I'll also show you my profile. Not because I have any special insight into writing profiles, but because y'all are some nosy fuckers. Most dating apps are about endless swiping. It's overwhelming. There are just too many choices, and yet, like, not enough choices at the same time. After a while, all the profiles start to look the same. Swiping fatigue has led me to some questionable choices in the past. But Coffee Meets Bagel, by the way, this video is not sponsored, but CMB, if you're listening, hit me up. Anyway, Coffee Meets Bagel is different. They give you a handful of matches every day, a very reasonable handful, like five or six. And their profiles, the algorithm thinks that you'll like. Once you run out of matches, you can just go on about your day. You don't have to keep swiping through profiles. When you feel that gambler's high that your perfect match is just one swipe away. With this app, there's no FOMO. And this sounds perfect for me right now. I don't want to endlessly swipe. I always felt scattered slogging through so many profiles. Like, what do I even like? What do I even want? I don't even know anymore. Hey, that guy has a cute dog. I like him. That's another thing that's different. Liking or swiping or whatever is not like the other apps. In Coffee Meets Bagel, women are shown only profiles of men that have already liked your profile. There might be something to investigate there about gender roles, that men are the pursuers and women are the pursued. I don't love it, but I'm willing to cut down on time spent wasted swiping into the void for the sake of efficiency. And sanity. <sighs> it's also so very heteronormative. I'd be curious to know what happens with same-sex dating, and from the sign-up it does seem like that's an option, but I'm very curious to find out. Also worth noting, there were no options for any other genders besides men and women, so if you don't identify as either, this platform might not feel very welcoming to you. But I'm on the case. I'm going to use my strongly worded email powers to find out. If you identify as non-binary, let me know your thoughts on dating apps in general. But I digress. I do love that I don't have to play the swipey likey game and decide who messages who first. You're not going to see profiles of people that aren't at least a little bit interested in you. Confession. I haven't used the app yet. I wanted to set up my profile during this video and take you on a journey through the digital dating world. So here it goes. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you think I should include in my profile that I didn't. All right, I'm screen recording so I can show you what an asshole I am. All right, let's go ahead, open up the app. Add a profile photo. You can choose photos from Facebook or from your phone. I'm gonna choose pictures from my phone because fun fact about me, I hate Facebook. All right, I know there's some cute ones of me in here somewhere, so. No, not those, not those. That one's cute. And then you can type a photo caption. I don't know that I'm gonna do that. Okay, that was my profile photo. Yeah, incomplete profile. There are more things that I needed to fill out. So, update my profile. I guess I reveal that I'm a white girl. No, no use hiding that. Relationship goals. Okay, this is an interesting one. Um, marriage. A serious relationship, something casual, or not sure yet. I guess, uh, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say there. I'm going to say not sure yet. Family plans. Undecided. That's fair. It sounds like I'm not answering questions, and that's not what I'm after at all. I just... Really, I'm... If, you've, if you know me, if you've watched this channel, if you've listened to our podcast, uh, I vacillate. I actually haven't made up my mind. I don't have a firm decision one way or another on children, so it's, it's actually pretty accurate. Exercise. God damn it. Stop reading me, app. Nobody likes that. Nobody likes to be called out on their shit. <sighs> Daily. Often. Sometimes. Never. Prefer not to say. 
I mean, sometimes is more accurate, but let's go with often because sure. They have a COVID, <laughs> a COVID field, fully vaccinated, waiting on additional dose, planning to get vaccinated, not getting vaccinated. I mean, I think not getting vaccinated says a lot about someone. They have icebreakers. Tell us something about yourself you did not share in your public profile. We will use these fun facts to break the ice with some of your bagels. And their examples are, I volunteer weekly at an animal shelter. So, yeah, I'm going to leave that blank for now because I can't come up with anything that I like. Let's do photos. Let's do some more photos. That one's the easiest. Most of these pictures are just of me reading. What's your love language? Wait, I, before we go on a date, you should know. Oh boy. Oh, this is who should pay on the first date. I guess I have to fill some of those out, so I'll hold on a second. Profile's done. So let's see what bagels come my way. That's what they call potential matches. Bagels. I don't know. But what I do know is that I know I'm not gonna do what I used to do and maybe swipe. As in, maybe they're cuter in real life or maybe we'd get along. I'm gonna be picky, not take this too, too seriously and see what happens. And not let it get in the way of getting shit done. Well, nothing I like at the bakery today. I'll check tomorrow, and it should only take me five minutes to do it. I have stuff to do. I'll see you next time.